All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, so, there was a data download. Uh, there's not really that much here that's super groundbreaking, uh, except for this. <laughs> so, it's pretty obvious who at least one of the two uh, Dokkan Fest exclusives is. Uh, looks in as though uh, Vegito and, uh, Vegeta and Goku that use Patara Fusion into Vegito is definitely going to be one of the Dokkan Fest exclusive LRs. We don't know what the second one is going to be. Uh, pretty interesting, honestly. You know, because it's just one of those things, right, where it did seem like it was setting up like, oh, actually, it looks like it is going to be Kid Buu and Spirit Bomb Goku. But no, they, they aren't going to skip over Vegito. I mean, I have been saying, I thought, it'd be pretty bizarre for them to go, you know, like, Gotenks, Super Buu, ultimate gohan and then skip vegeto the most profitable character and then go to goku and vegeta and then kid boo or like it's just odd right <laughs> so sure uh now here's the thing this is not there's at minimum gonna be three summonable lrs during the download celebration this is only one of them right so we very easily could still get kid boo and, like, a Super Spirit Bomb Goku slash Vegeta exchange unit, right? They easily... Maybe, it'd be a little bit weird, but they could do Vegito and Kid Buu together. And then they could do Spirit Bomb Goku um, as the uh, Download Celebration Legendary Summon banner. Or I suppose they even could do... They could do Go... What if it's two Goku and Vegeta banners? So what if it's Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Vegito? And then what if there's also a Goku and Vegeta banner where they do the super spirit bomb and they have the active skill and all that stuff. I, I, and then Kid Buu could be a legendary summon banner. Like, that would make sense. I, that would work, honestly. Um, I, I, hmm, would that... I, I'm just trying to think what would make them more money. I feel like they would make the most money by having Kid Buu be the part of the dual Dokkan Fest. Because I would think, like, in order of units that would make money, right? I feel like Vegito is like... Far and away number one. Like, this unit right here is far and away number one. Number two would be probably, like, the Spirit Bomb Goku, you know, exchange Goku and Vegeta, all that nonsense. And then Kid Buu probably would be, like, a distant third in terms of units that would make money. So, I mean, we'll see, right? Um, I don't know if this is the, like, the app. Like, I, I feel like, th is this the app icon? I think this is. I think that's what this is, the app icon. Uh, regardless, I mean, download celebration... Vegito, a, a Patara Fusion Vegito is coming. It's pretty clear. Um, we got a bunch of info to look at besides that. Um, I mean, obviously, that was the most important thing. Uh, all right, so here's some stuff from the Homie Garesh. So there's no new cards. There's a new Super Boot art uh, found in the files. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, new Explosive Chain Battle. Maybe it's the one Global will start with. Actually, that would make sense, huh? Because Global... Hmm. I suppose if this Explosive Chain Battle would come in the next couple of days on both Global and JP... And this would be the first one Global would start with. They could do that. Uh, things would get really, like, out of whack for Global at that point, though. Because, like, you know, then they they do the God Goku one, I guess, in a couple of months. And they still have the Broly one to do. Angel, Golden, Frieza, his chain battle. I mean, I, I would assume that's marked for December. So, I don't know. A, a little bit odd. Um, so, also, the, the Download Celebration is not called the 350 million Download Celebration simultaneous worldwide release campaign this makes sense a lot of us have been saying it's just not feasible that they're going to get 50 million downloads every year anymore right like it, the game is about to be six years old so makes a ton of sense um new infinite dragon ball history stage is a boo saga yeah yeah very shocking <laughs> all right so let's take a bunch of look at a bunch of info from uh some of the data monitors and stuff like this all right, so the new Infinite Dragon Ball History Sage is ba Majin Buu Saga. Spopovich and Yamu till Buu for the enemies. Okay, so it's Bob. It's probably Bobbities. So it's probably Spopovich, Yamu, Dabura, Pui Pui, Yakan, Majin Vegeta, Fat Buu. You know, maybe the, the Bobbity and Dabura LR could be it. Buu Saga and Super Saiyan 2 are them. Oh, ha, <laughs> You could just use a Super Saiyan 2 team. Oh, that's a joke. Hold on. Okay, okay, this is going to be one of the easiest ones by far. <laughs> okay. Super Saiyan 2 and Boo Saga, you say? Because the Super Saiyan 2 team is very strong, actually, right? Like, a lot of the Super Saiyan 2s are very, very good. 
Um, so it'll be very easy to have three Boo Saga Super Saiyan 2s. I mean, the two Majin Vegeta's, bam. Uh, you're obviously going to bring Kalen Khalifa. You're going to bring Gohan. Uh, and then, you know, for the next one, I mean, you could do Angel Goku. Um, you could do uh, the STR Majin Vegeta would work very well. Um, honestly, even like the um, the physical Super Saiyan 2 Goku, that would get you your third Boo Saga unit right there. He's pretty good uh, because he raises defense. What is it, for six turns? I think it's six, right, on Super Attack? Yeah, pretty good. He's giving all allies three key 30% defense. You just run a full Super Saiyan 2 team, and this is a joke. This is absolutely a joke. Like, I, I just don't really see struggles with this one. The only thing is, you know, orbs, I guess, could be a little bit of an issue for Majin Vegeta. You know, you can bring, like, Kefla, too. Like, damn. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is not going to be hard. <laughs> oh, my God. You can bring this Kefla or this Khalifa? Oh, she's so stupid. Well, I mean, Global doesn't have her EZA yet. Uh, people keep asking me, where's her EZA? Dude, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, if I was in charge of things, uh, Khalifa would be coming out today on Global. So, again, I, where is she? I, if only I knew. <laughs> right? Uh, she does raise her defense and stuff like that, so it's all good, right? Uh, she'll be very, very good. But again, I'm not really too concerned about that stage. I think that stage is going to be pretty easy. All right, so we're looking at some stuff from Hydros here. Uh, no new cards, yep. Uh, here, of course, is the Super Boo. Um, looks as though that's him charging Gotenks, I believe. Wow, th I actually feel bad. Usually, like, card arts I could spot, like, just where they're from. I think he's fighting Gotenks in this, but I guess I'm not 100% sure. Um, all right, so we have a lot of the uh, countdown celebration uh, images. So this was the first clue that it's like, wait a minute, maybe it's not Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku and stuff like that, right? Because we got Gohan and Videl, great same man. Um, you know, World Tournament part where we got Kabito and Supreme Kai. Um, Babidi and Deborah, of course. Majin Vegeta, Fat Buu. Uh, then continuing on, we got Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Very, very awesome manga art right there. Uh, then we have Goten and Trunks. And then it ends with Super Buu, so... No Ultimate Gohan. I mean, they could have tossed Ultimate Gohan on there. I mean, I guess the 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 clear Ultimate Go. Why didn't they do... I feel like they could have done, like, a good one where they could have had the Tech Exchange Boo and then Tech Ultimate Gohan. But, I mean, neither of those units are out on Global, I guess. But, like, that would have, that would look really good. That would, that would be a really, really good-looking one. So, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what they're doing. Okay, new animations for Super Attacks were added. I presume... Uh, I mean, th th this looks similar to EZA stuff, but I presume that this is going to be the new partner mechanic or whatever. Although, again, that looks very similar to EZA effects to me, so I, I, I don't know. But, you know, remember, we do have, like, these new, like, partner super attack mechanics and stuff like that coming, so, uh, we are going to see how that's going to look. Uh, here's the, uh, simultaneous worldwide release campaign ticket. Now, remember, by the way, we are not getting tickets for every 50 stones spent this year. What we are getting is a treasure item. We're getting a treasure item that we could then exchange for either tickets or for presumably ca featured characters on that banner. So, you know, that, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, once Global's out of maintenance... Yes, yeah, okay, I agree with Hydros right here. Yeah, because Global's in maintenance right now. They're doing the link level system update. Best thing ever. I was going to do a link level up guide thing. I guess I'll just put it out tomorrow. I don't know. You know, again, I've been all over the place right now. Um, oh, here we go. No new missions outside the LR campaign missions for Mr. Satan. Okay. Uh, clear a story event once for the countdown ticket date for seven days daily. Okay. Hmm. All right, Hydros is saying maybe this is fake. I guess it could be. I guess I guess someone could have just like like this guy could have just made this up. That would be very fast. I mean, he would have done that very fast. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> Hydros is usually he's he's pretty good with stuff like that. So maybe maybe. Um, let me see. I think that might be everything though. Uh, looks like there's a new. Huh. Potentially they updated the comeback campaign, uh, or like the the comeback login bonus. Uh, looking at this, I think Legends is quite a bit better. Um, the Legends one, because it gives a lot of resources and stuff like that. I guess it's not really a big deal. Um, and with that, we have looked at everything. Okay, so, again, I mean, it looks as though it's a new Vegito to me. I guess this could be fake. I mean, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how things are going to turn out. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though. The download celebration definitely, definitely seems like it's going to be pure fire. Um, I'm very excited, so let me know what you guys think. 
uh, and I'll catch y'all next time.